On December 7th, 1941, there were African Americans serving here on Battleship Row, but all of them were below decks. One of those dedicated sailors was Messman Doris Dory Miller of Waco, Texas. Messman Miller had just finished serving breakfast on board the battleship West Virginia when torpedoes began to fall, when an explosion presented him from reaching his battle station as an ammunition passer, Miller was ordered to the ship's damaged and blazing bridge. There, he helped carry the ship's captain to greater safety. Then, he took charge of a Browning 50 caliber machine gun, a gun that he had not been trained to use, simply because of the color of his skin. On the burning and heavily listing starboard deck, he loaded the weapon and shot back at the attacking airplanes until his ammunition ran out. Along several officers and enlisted men, Miller fought fires on the bridge, protecting the captain until he was pronounced dead. Then he traversed hand over hand to the ship's deck, where he saved the lives of many sailors by pulling them from the burning water. When the order came to abandon ship, he stayed behind to help, and he helped. Messman Willer was one of the last three sailors to leave the West Virginia that fateful morning. For his actions, Doris Miller was awarded the Navy Cross, the first African American to be so decorated. Dory Miller stood for everything that is good about our nation. His story deserves to be remembered and repeated wherever our people continue to stand the watch today. He is not just the story of one sailor. It is the story of our Navy, of our nation, and our ongoing struggle to form, in the words of our Constitution, a more perfect union. That is why it's my honor today to announce formally that our next Ford Air Class carrier, CVN-81, will be named the USS Doris Miller.